peace and flowing with the way of the harmony is always. Living and loving from that high heart frequency. You know how it go. That's not even the intro, man. I'm fucking up already. Let me redo that shit. <laughs> peace, peace. And flowing with the way of the harmony is always. Vibing from that high heart frequency. You know, we just doing our thing. So I want to speak about real quick how, you know, a useful technique for finding, uh, for picking crystals and, you know, crystal jewelry, whether it's bracelets or necklaces, make sure that you, you know, you study your chart. You obviously have your chart worked out. Be careful with working on the online ones. They're a little bit off a lot of the time. My uh, personal recommendation is you try an online one, but you also have a book that uh, you know, speaks about the zodiac charts, speaks about the zodiac signs, and goes actually in depth with it, and then cross reference those as well as uh, read each description and see if it actually applies to you. Don't just take uh, the word of the book, or don't just take the word of the online source. You know what I mean? Make sure that it applies to your true source, which is you, your internal realm. You know what I mean? So make sure it actually applies. With that being said, this technique for choosing crystals is make sure you study your ascendant, your sun, and your moon. Yeah, everybody wants to just rep their sun sign, but make sure you have those three locked down. You know what I mean? Make sure you have those three, uh, like you steadily know those three without a doubt. You know what I mean? And then those three will be the most beneficial for choosing crystals. For instance, uh, so my sun sign's a Leo. So beneficial crystals for Leos will be uh, heart uh, chakra crystals, solar plexus, and root. You know what I mean? So that could be peridot, uh, damborite, uh, star ruby, ruby, uh, citrine, uh, labradorite, things along these lines, right? So it's important for if you are a Leo sun sign, sun, moon, or ascendant, you use one of those crystals uh, within your daily travels, within your daily uh, routine, you know, wh whatever it be. You know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily mean you have to be strictly uh, like it doesn't. You don't have to have necessarily one that you always use. You you might want to use multiple and mix it up. Personally, that's what I like to do. So that's just my recommendation as well. But make sure you have your ascendant, your sun, and your moon. And, and if it is a cusp sign, make sure you find a crystal that uh, deals with that cusp, or also uh, have one or the other. Like for instance, like if you have a cusp. Cancer Leo, make sure you have a crystal that either de deals with both Cancer and Leo or deals with one or the other. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's basically all I got to say. And if you are having like certain troubles within your life, like or even like within your uh, your chakra energy pools, your orbs, you know what I mean? Like the throat, third eye, solar plexus, heart, you, you know, all seven and up into the etherics as well. If you are having a certain uh, stagnant energy or you're feeling unbalanced in a certain one, Make sure you work with that that particular crystal a little bit more and see if it applies within your chart as well. Because sometimes you might have certain planets or lack of planets or no planets at all that you might need to work in that area. Usually when you have no planets in a certain house, that means you either already mastered that area of your life or it's not something that you need to focus on in this lifetime. You know what I mean? With that being said, uh, yeah, you know, just study your chart, work with crystals. And the most, most important thing of all is to tune in. You know what I mean? Your internal realm. Don't let anybody try to put put you in any type of box. You know what I mean? Even the clay animation that we're in right now. See this clay? This animation? You eventually will be leaving clay. this, this clay, this animation. So make sure that the thing you leave with is your spirit. Don't let anybody try to make your shit heavy. Don't let anybody try to weigh you down. Whether that's a person, place, or thing, an entity, whatever. Don't let them weigh you down because in these times, people be trying to weigh you down with stupid shit. And make sure you peep game and see through all the little illusions because they steadily keep trying to put these little things at hand and trying to make it the, what is it, the majority, uh, majority teachings. And they twist it into a fucked up way. So pay attention to that. But yeah, that's basically all I got to say. Just quick short videos, quick fasting and Quick, fast, and in a motherfucking hurry. <laughs> peace, peace. Flowing with the way of the harmony. Living from that what? <laughs> High heart frequency. Peace.